Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five movies that I want to see that are coming out this year. Now, one of these actually are already out, but I haven't seen it yet, and so I will be showing that as well since I haven't seen that yet. But anyway, I will be showing you movies that are coming out this year that I would like to see, and I will be sharing my thoughts on what I think of them so far, and that kind of thing. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first movie on my list is none other than Mufasa. Now this movie comes out December 20th of this year, and I think it was actually supposed to come out in June or July of this year, but it got switched to December 20th, and I'm actually glad I'm that it got changed to December 20th. I'm so hoping that I'll be able to at least watch this on Disney Plus. <laughs> but anyway, I absolutely love The Lion King, and I was actually surprised to hear that Mufasa was an orphan, and I think they're actually saying now that Scar and Mufasa aren't actually brothers, which that's pretty surprising. I, I think that's what they're saying, but they're definitely saying that Mufasa wasn't born royal. So, apparently he doesn't have a lot of kings in his background like we obviously assumed. And I gotta say, I really hope that this movie doesn't mess up the Lion King franchise, which I don't really think it will since this is Mufasa's backstory. But, things, you know, in Mufasa's backstory definitely don't seem to be like how we would have expected. But, I'm still hoping that this will be a great movie and that... You know, the Lion King franchise will still continue to be great like it is now. And even with this new information out of Mufasa, hopefully things will still stay the same with Simba, Nala, and, and all. But I'm also glad to hear that this movie will also have Kiara in it. So apparently from what I hear, Rafiki and Timon and Pumbaa, or at least Rafiki, will be telling the story of Mufasa to Kiara. And I'm so glad that they're going to put Kiara in this. And I can't wait to see young Kiara. I, I guess she'll be young. But I can't wait to see Kiara in live action in this movie. And I'd also love to see a remake of The Lion King too. <laughs> that would be great. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that this will be a good movie. But I wish they had made it animated instead of live action. I think that probably would have been better if they had made it animated. I mean, it looks cool. It looks absolutely beautiful, but I still wish they had made it animated. But anyway, so here's the next movie that's coming out this year. In fact, this is coming out really soon, and that is Inside Out 2. Okay, now honestly, I'm not too sure if I'm going to like this one. I'm not really a fan of the first movie. I mean, I like the emotions like joy and all, but... The first movie wasn't, let's just say for me, it wasn't the best, and I feel like this one might somewhat be even worse, with uh, Riley being a teenager and all, and, but, honestly, from what I've seen from the uh, trailer, it doesn't look like it would be as bad as I thought, I honestly don't know, it may be even worse than I thought, I hope not, but... I'm hoping that this won't be as bad as I thought, and from what the trailer is showing, apparently the new emotions are the villains, and apparently Anxiety is the main villain, but I don't think she means to do anything wrong, I think she just has a, um, kind of a warped way of <laughs> handling things for Riley. And in the first trailer that we got, or no, the second trailer we got of the movie shows the emotions in this bottle, and they've even brought out another clip of the movie showing that Anxiety actually did have them put away. So apparently she sent them away from headquarters, and I have a feeling that, you know, judging by that, I guess she would be considered a villain, but again, the movie's not out yet. So I'm not per I'm not exactly sure if you would call her a villain, but let me just say, from what I can see so far, you know, from what's been revealed so far, 
I have a feeling that she at least just has a warped way of seeing how Riley should be, which is not a good way from what it looks like. But just from what I've seen from the trailers, I honestly think this movie might actually be pretty good. Now, just like with Mufasa, I'll probably see this one on Disney Plus as well. But I'm really hoping that this will actually be a good movie. Because at first I didn't like the plot idea, but I actually think this might be okay. Hopefully. So yeah, I'm really hoping that this new Inside Out movie will be good. Okay, so next. Next up is the Garfield movie. Now this is actually already out, and this is the movie I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I said was already out, but I actually haven't seen this one yet. I'm probably just gonna see it when it comes out on DVD, which, which that's fine. This doesn't really look like something I would go see anyway, but I mean, it, it looks good. I'm not into Garfield or anything, but it, it looks interesting. The dog that's Garfield's friend looks pretty cute, and Garfield looks so cute as a kitten. So, yeah, this looks like a pretty interesting movie. So, yeah, this is one of the five movies that I'm hoping to see this year. And I've already researched this movie, so it, it looks pretty good. So, yeah. And so now number four is Despicable Me 4. <laughs> it's the fourth movie, and this is actually the fourth movie on the list. <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm also new to the Despicable Me franchise. I actually haven't seen anything of Garfield as of now, but I have seen Despicable Me 2, which I love the second movie. In fact, I've already recorded a... Um, movie review of it so that'll be up here pretty soon but uh this fourth movie looks to be pretty interesting and i also have a couple of the plushes from the movie i have a couple of the mega minions and you will be seeing those probably when i do my plush collection video because i do have some plushes of some cartoon characters in fact i think that's what most of my plushes are i do have some of those beanie boos but uh, I think most of them are of different cartoon characters. But anyway, so yeah, I think this looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting movie. And from what it looks like, it looks like the minions are either turned into superheroes or they're wearing suits that make them superheroes. Because it kind of looks like they're wearing suits, but um, with one of the minions, it really looks like he actually does have superpowers instead of just a super suit. I'm not too sure about that because it looks like they're wearing super suits, at least all but the one. But anyway, I'm hoping that this movie will be good. And <laughs> I've actually noticed that all of the Despicable Me movies, except I think except for the Minions movie and the first Despicable Me movie, all came out in July. And I believe the last um, Despicable Me movie, the Rise of Gru. I think that came out on the 3rd of July, if I'm not mistaken, which is when this movie comes out, July 3rd. <laughs> How crazy is that? But yeah, I think that's the movie. I know one of the movies has the same release date as Despicable Me 4, and I believe it was The Rise of Gru. But anyway, so yeah, this movie looks like it's going to be pretty interesting, and I so hope it's going to be. Okay, so last and hopefully not least is The Day the Earth Blew Up, which is a Looney Tunes movie. Now, I know I haven't mentioned the Looney Tunes before on my channel. I haven't done any videos about them, but I don't think I've even mentioned them as of now in any of my videos. But I'm hoping to change that at some point. But if anyone's not familiar with them, which I'm sure most people are, but anyone who's younger who's seeing this may not know who they are. But the Looney Tunes were back many many years ago and according to what i heard this will be their first animated movie to go in theaters but even though the release date's actually pretty close because it comes out next month there doesn't seem to be much information about this movie and i don't think there's even any merchandise out of this movie yet because i looked it up and it says that it comes out june 11th if i believe so since the release date is pretty close I'm really hoping we get some information here pretty soon, but from what I've heard, 
it's about where these aliens invade Earth or something, and two of the um, Looney Tunes that are very well known, Daffy Duck and Porky Pig, have to stop the the aliens. And from what I've seen, a love interest of Porky's, whose name is Petunia. I think that's her name, Petunia Pig. She's apparently going to be in this movie as well. And I'm sure other other Looney Tune characters will be in this movie as well. But I don't really understand how come there doesn't seem to be any other information about it. Unless I'm just missing something. Because the release date is pretty close. And there doesn't seem to really be anyone talking about it. Unless the release date's wrong and they're going to push it back some. I'm honestly not sure. But this actually got cancelled. So, I don't know. I I don't think it got cancelled again. But, I don't know. Maybe they're going to push the release date back a little bit. I'm not sure. But, just because this is a Looney Tunes movie. And it's about Daffy and Porky. And I do like them. And, <laughs> I... I don't like the plot really, but again, just because it's about Daffy and Porky, I'm hoping to be able to see this one, and I'm hoping that it'll be good, but I honestly don't know. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope we all enjoy these movies when they come out, and please leave in the comments which one of these movies you are excited to see. Or if when you comment if you've seen any of these movies, like the Garfield movie or in the future when these other movies are out. So let me know what you think of them. Anyway, stay tuned for more. Bye.